Hello, this is John Rinaldi from Real Time Automation, and I'm here today to talk to you about IoT because there's just all sorts of stuff that's being said, and people are just thinking about this in all the wrong ways. And I want to tell you what I think is wrong with IoT and manufacturing. The first thing I, I, I want to say is that hey, this isn't new. We've been doing IoT and manufacturing for 35, 40 years, as soon as we had the first PLC on the factory floor, people were trying to figure out, how do I get the count of the number of products we made out of the PLC and into the ERP system, or what passed for the ERP system of the 1980s. But it's not new, we've been working on this all the time. Usually it was proprietary. What's different is that today we have a, a no, better tools than we ever had before. Number six thing is, uh, the number second thing I'd like to say is, hey, IoT is more than a transport. A lot of people just say, hey, I'll just pick some data, I'll throw it at MQTT and put it up in the cloud. That's not IoT. IoT implies that you're actually going to do something with the data. You're actually going to perform some analysis on it. You're going to make some decisions based upon the results of that analysis. It's a closed loop. It's not just moving data, which is really what some people seem to believe. I was at a big company, and they said, hey, we just got our Modbus data into the cloud. Do you know what we should do with it, John? It was just ridiculous. I'm thinking, well, don't you, why don't you think about that ahead of time? They said, ask me, how do we monetize this? Well, I don't know how you monetize it. That's what you decide before you do the moving of the data. The problem we have is that their technology is so good, it's too easy to just move data. And it, you know, IoT can be really hard if you do it right. And that's the way it should be done. It should be done right. It's not easy to gather all the data you need out of the factory floor because number one, you often don't know what you need unless you, fig you stud sit down and study it and figure out what you have to gain if you had the right data. Um, there's a lot of that nonsense going on. And number two, you have to have enough data where you can actually make a decision. And number three, you have to process it so you can draw conclusions. And correlation does not always co equal causation. Now, Delta Airlines did it right. They were able to take all this jet engine data, correlate it with their maintenance records, figure out how they could eliminate, I think they eliminated 13 or 14 airplanes. Now that's a good IoT example, but it's not what we're getting in, in industry today. What we're getting today are vendors who are coming to manufacturers like you guys and saying, hey, it's really easy. We'll grab up all the data that you have. We don't care where it is. We don't care how, how that it's in an old piece of equipment that's that's 400 years old. We're just gonna grab that data, we're gonna put it in the cloud, you're gonna have all of these wonderful analytical displays and you're gonna create all this productivity enhancements, you're gonna increase your OEE, and it's just simple, you just pay us $29 a month or 49 or 99, whatever the number is, and it's just, it's just not that easy to do. And that's my big point, and that's kind of what got irritated and upset today. So here I am at outside RTA and uh, trying, to, trying to calm down a little bit. So you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.